Bitches, it's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um, a few people were asking me if I was interested in seeing the new um, Captain Marvel movie. I am not interested in seeing that shit, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm in concurrence with a lot of these guys, um, the quartering. Uh, geeks and gamers shout out to them they 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 have great channels uh world class bullshitters um i essentially feel the same way uh, diversity in comics well he goes by comics matter now um ethan van skyver shout out to ethan by the way i got to get on a live stream with you and uh geeks and gamers uh, especially you ethan because you from jersey so you got no excuse i'm from jersey too so you got no fucking excuse but uh shout out to you guys um love your channels and um the reason i'm not gonna go see captain marvel is you know one thing that i can't stand if you're a fan of my channel is this whole i've talked about sjw's i've talked about uh, third wave feminism. I'm not a fan of that shit. I'm not a fan of identity politics. I'm not a fan of none of that bullshit. Particularly when you're outside the political realm and you're jumping into certain mediums, you know, uh, mediums that are a form of escapism, i.e. comic books, video games, stuff that I hold dear to my heart. Captain Marvel is a Marvel comic book movie that's coming out the actor oh excuse me actress known as Brie Larson who is playing Captain Marvel she can't shut the fuck up let me just be totally honest I that's why I don't want to go see this movie I have no interest in seeing it she um this started with excuse me a wrinkle in time that movie that uh Ava uh, how do you say her name? Duvernay came out with, and uh, it was a you know Disney movie made for children. I saw it. I went with my uh, best friend because uh, he wanted to take his son. Y'all know him, my godson Lucas. I wanted to take him to go see the movie, so uh, we went. And um, the movie was it was all right. You know, nothing I would you know call home about or anything like that. But it was all right. But uh, this chick, Brie Larson, excuse me, she comes out and says, you know, I'm not interested in what a white critic has to say about this movie. It was made by a woman of color, so uh, let them talk about it. It's something along those lines, which is cringy as fuck. And I've talked about this on my channel. One thing I hate is when particularly these far leftist, super liberal ideologues, when they, they tokenize black people, which to me, I've talked about this. To me, that's the, the most racist thing you could do. If you're a critic, what does it fucking matter what color you are? It shouldn't fucking matter. As long as you critique the... Uh, movie within the merits of it being a movie it shouldn't fucking matter it don't matter what fucking color you are okay and so let's just i want to take a little arrow out of the quiver of the negroes who are going to sit see this and say oh here comes another nigga that's defending white people nah it has nothing to do with that it's the fact that these people that claim that they're not racist really hide behind racism to to promote their so-called virtue which to me is the ultimate form of racism what do they call it the soft bigotry of low expectation so anyway that didn't really get too much she didn't really uh get too much backlash for that so now here comes captain marvel 
Kevin Feige says, oh, yeah, you know, um, she's going to be the new fucking flagship um, hero for the next phase of Marvel. She's the most powerful one. And I'm just saying to myself, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop with the pandering, all right? But, okay, fine. Now, you hype this bitch's head up. This bitch is coming back, and uh, she's saying now Brie Larson. And, by the way, I'm not calling her Brie Larson anymore. I saw someone leave this comment, and I, I wish I remembered their name because I could credit them with this. It was a commenter. I believe it was on uh, uh, Ethan Van Sivers, one of his comment sections or geeks and gamers i forget but they said i'm not calling her brie larson anymore i'm calling her brie arson because she's burning down <laughs> the the mcu and that's what i'm gonna call her brie arson that's a perfect fucking name so here comes brie arson uh talking the same shit she goes oh i was looking around at uh what was it the uh the people doing, uh, I guess, the press junket or whoever, and and um, you know, it's too overwhelmingly, it's overwhelmingly white, and I can't have that. I got, you know, I, I need it more diverse, which essentially means, again, she's gonna, she I, actually, I think she already did do this. She token, she's gonna tokenize a few you Negroes out there. Y'all gonna feel good about it, not knowing that. She's not going after you for your merit. She's not doing that. She's going after you because of this. And, she, and she's going to get the props for it. Look at me. I'm the good guy. And y'all, y'all too, a lot of y'all too stupid to see it. I'm sorry. I got, I got to call it what it is. A lot of y'all feel like, oh, look, I'm, I, she's my savior. A lot of these uh, super SJW white people, these super far liberal white people, are the most racist because they're using you as a stepping stone. They don't care about you. They see you as a fucking pet. And that's what this bitch, Brie Arson, that's how she sees your black ass, your Hispanic ass, your whatever minority ass. Insert minority here. That's how she sees you. <laughs> so I mean, so I can't, I can't in sound mind go and support that. Besides, we, we could take the politics out of it. This movie just looks like shit anyway because you look at that trailer, it just looks like... She she just looks so, like, bothered. Like, why am I here? You know, it's like, ugh. You know, nah, I got no time for that. Again, now she's talking about, oh, this this movie represents uh, womanhood and this and that. Nah, listen, I don't have time for none of that bullshit. Um... I'm not supporting that. Like I've said several times, the reason why Wonder Woman was so good was because Patty Jenkins, the director, and Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot, I don't know how to say her name, but um, they weren't running around doing all this fucking activism nonsense. The movie, it was about the merit of the movie. That's why it was so successful, which brings me to my next point, because one thing I can't stand are you fucking... Uh, journalists, quote unquote, that will sit and put out articles talking about, well, all these guys are misogynistic. They're sexist. That that's it. They're 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 you you know the whole shit. You're homophobic, sexist, yada yada yada. So it came out that uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, you know, on, on that site, Rotten Tomatoes, uh, if there's like anticipated movies, well, any type of movie that's coming out, you could rate if you're gonna how much you want to go see it or not and leave a comment that's all people were doing just like any other movie i'm about to show you right now let, let me let me get to that scene two here we go i'll show you a couple of stuff that's quote unquote misogynistic okay so you have people saying you know, the, there's a blue dot among uh, above their comment saying, want to see it? And there's a circle with a slash saying, not interested. Okay, so you have Steven S. that says, not interested at all. This dude says, Wonder Woman was great. And this is a guy saying this. Wonder Woman was great. When is Black Widow coming out? <laughs> Which is my next point. A lot of dudes want a Black Widow movie. You know, so uh, this idea that that 
guys are being misogynistic is bullshit because if you're within the comic book community dudes loved wonder woman dudes want a black widow movie there's plenty of uh female superheroes that you can make a movie about that dudes won't complain about with uh without shoving identity politics and third wave feminism down their throat okay this guy says looks looking like it's gonna suck not interested so far this, this dude says, I'll go watch Alita again <laughs> the day this comes out. That's another point. Alita Battle Angel came out. All these fuckboy journalists, what they did was they now they wrote articles saying, oh, you know, uh, uh, Alita Battle Angel isn't all this cracked up. Basically trying to negate it because it wasn't pushing that bullshit in it, in that movie which i have to go see by the way shout out to alita battle angel i remember that that's based on a on a um manga um and i never really watched the original one although i knew about it because i was deep into anime at one point but i never watched it but i heard this movie's fucking crazy i want to go see it and i definitely want to go see it now because it's not full of uh feminism and none of that bullshit all right um so josh here comes here here comes a soy boy freaking incels can't wait to see this movie with my son and daughter <laughs> what what a simp um andrew l says you couldn't pay me to watch this dumpster fire um nikhil says no thanks i'll go for a leader Ryan Mundo says, saving my money for the real Captain Marvel. Shazam. Exactly. Shazam. See, and let me tell you something. When a DC movie is looking real good, you know you're in trouble. Shout out to Shazam. That looks good. I'm, I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, Robert L. See, here, come, here comes a simp. Look, look at this comment. Who hurts some of you guys? Damn, it will be okay. See, when when and I've said this a long time ago that that's a female trait when you can't discuss the merits of an argument you start going for all oh, your hurt go fuck yourself uh, John B says this campaign to drive the user raise rating down is idiotic why bother fanboys are you that threatened by a woman in the lead your insecurity is showing boys short sort yourself out no dickhead because you had fucking um wonder woman you had supergirl back in the day you have a lot of female-led roles that people don't care about men don't care scott j here comes another white knight reading through some of the previous comments posted about this unreleased film film seriously Cannot believe that I am from the same species as the posters. Actually, absolutely embarrassing and cringe-inducing. On a brighter note, I'm really looking forward to its release. See, people like that, you can tell who they are right away. This is the type of dude that is sitting here, a male feminist. One of these dudes that wants to get in your pants, ladies. He don't care about this movie. Uh, Scott W. says, I'm a white male. SJWs don't want money. Yeah, he's exactly right. She said it herself. And that brings me to my other point. This movie was slated to make over $800 million its first weekend. Guess how much it's slated to make now that Brie Larson keeps running her fucking mouth? $80 million. <laughs> wow. And y'all happy with this? Uh, Nate says, I'm not going to see Captain Marvel or Avengers 4 or the next Spider-Man, as a matter of fact. As, as I've truly reached comic book movie fatigue, Hollywood, please give me something new and fresh. That that's fair. I could I could understand that because there's a lot of comic book movies. I'm look. I'm selfish. I'm a comic book head. I I don't mind them, but that's that's a fair assessment. Huge pass. Thanks for helping me save money by not watching your movie. Okay. Let's see. Joe C. Well, this old white guy won't be see seeing it. Looks terrible. I'd rather have a Black Widow, Nick Fury, or a Hawkeye film. Exactly. See, he said Black Widow. You know, you've already established Black Widow. P 
people love Scarlett Johansson. I, I believe she's a feminist, but she's not annoying as fuck with her shit. You know, and she's easy on that. She's very beautiful. I would go see a Black Widow movie in a heartbeat. You know, and I love the story of the Black Widow. So, put that out. Hollywood is going bankrupt, packing, patting itself on the back. This will make for a great case study or documentaries. <laughs> Yo, this is true. This is really true. Um, they are sitting here... Um, you know, trying to they they're trying to do the same thing over and over again. Uh, Ghostbusters 2016 bomb, Ocean's 8 remake bomb. You can't just sit here and throw females in the lead and just say, "Well, there's a female in it, and if you don't like it, you're a sexist." Or let these females use the the the, the brand for activism. It it'll never work, and this is gonna fail. Um, Aaron says, "My wife's son and I." <laughs> we'll be watching this movie. <laughs> wow. Um. Yeah. Let me cut this short because I'm going on and on. Um. Where's my OBS screen? Yeah. Fifteen minutes. I think that's enough. But yeah, that's just. I I'm not gonna go see this movie. I'm waiting for someone to upload the post and uh. Excuse me. The pre and post credit screen. Or not screen, but scene. <laughs> I'm losing it. The pre and post credit scene. I'm waiting for someone to upload it onto YouTube. I'm just satisfied watching that and the scene. Hopefully, they have a scene where Nick Fury loses his eye. That's all I, I care about. I don't care about this movie. I don't. And it sucks because I really wanted a story with the Skrulls. And I know the Skrulls are the main villains in this movie. Um, but with this, with this shit being the forefront of activism and everything, and nah, I don't, I, I don't have any time for it. Kevin Feige, you got a real fucking problem on your hands. <laughs> I hope you know what you're dealing with right now. <laughs> so, you got a real problem on your hands for Marvel's next phase. And uh, listen, that's it. Not gonna go see this movie. I'm waiting for Avengers: Endgame and Spider-Man: Far From Home. Although I have sort of issues with that, but it has nothing to do with, um, has absolutely nothing to do with politics or anything. But anyway, that's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, and that's it. Peace, bitches.